Hello everyone, I'm Brock from Cabinets by Computer and today we're going to walk through creating a bathroom vanity. Today here what we have, if I bring up our KD Max, I'll open up our drawing. So we've got our bathroom here. In full disclosure this has already been created so what we're going to do is just recreate uh, what we've done here. So first thing we want to do is go and find our unit to create our vanity. So um, up in our products list here, what we want to do is I'll show you a couple of options here. First one in our V10 is we've got our base unit C channel. Uh, so here what we can do is use these items with the C channel for instance uh, and uh, place them in the drawing. So it'll give you the C channel uh, with no handle. So what we want to do first is fix this one. Obviously get our size here. So I might make this 750. A depth, we'll make that 500. Our overall height, we're going to make that 550. And the electrical inner height here, we're going to make that one 250. Click finish, and then we can place that on the wall. Once we've placed that one on the wall, um, we can get it uh, in our relevant location. So we can right click, position query, click on the wall, and it will give you the distance there. Uh, if we want to set that from the wall, uh, we can specify that measurement there. So for instance, I might want to make that 500, press enter and that will place it in that position. So here because we're using the C channel we already have that C channel in the unit. Um, the other thing we can do is use the standard uh, unit and then change the size of it down. So again in our products list I'll go and grab that same unit in a regular. So we'll grab and back in our electrical base unit, upper drawer electrical unit, click fix. Again set your dimensions, right, 550 in a height of 250, click finish. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a C channel or a recess just on that unit there. So the way we do that firstly is we wanna change our door height. So we go first thing right click property. It will open up this uh, property on the left hand side here. Uh, the third arrow on the top here, so that one there, select the door or draw to edit. We'll select the door there then what we can do is actually change the dimension of that door or drawer. So here what we want to do is set firstly our number one value as our base. So it's already set there. And then we can change our width based on our um, first edge. So say we want to drop that down uh, 20 mil. So we can make that 263. Click OK. And that will drop that one down there. The other thing we need to do as we just have a rail uh, across the front there, we need to change the size of that panel. So we do that up the top here in panel. Edit, change panel size, and select the panel. Right click to confirm, and here what we do, again, we need to change our dimensions of this unit, and what we wanna do here is actually set the positive side, so the arrow, the side with the arrow on it is the positive side. We wanna drop that down below our finger recess, so I might wanna make that a 30. Uh, and then on our base here, so the front edge is the number one. It's a bit hard to see there, but it's actually facing us. Uh, we just wanna make that our thickness there on that unit, or that panel. Click OK, and that will pull that down in front of that there. So there's the two options of creating those. Um, just to sort of show you that one, so I might just delete that. So we've got a duplicate, so I'll just copy that, place that one beside. And then the other thing is, if your panels are coming through uh, as your carcass, I've actually set mine in my global style settings just to show you guys here in our materials. So our carcass is actually the same as our door colour. Okay, uh, if your carcass is coming through and you want to keep it like that, you can change it manually using your edit function. So up the top, edit, material editor. What this will allow you to do, and I'll just do this on the C channel part. So you select firstly the door colour that you want to use click apply and then apply that to the parts of the drawing that you want to change. So that will uh, bring our material through to those C channel parts there. Um, so again, you can do that on all the parts of that unit. So once that's all done, now we're just gonna um, put in some items and make it look like an actual vanity. So first thing we'll do is place a countertop. So up the top to the line, click countertop, click okay for our side edge. And I've got a unit there just as a Box, so I'll just delete that one. Uh, then what we can do is uh, add some items. So first thing, go and grab an item. So in my products list, I have brought in a, a couple of items. I've imported them. 
So what I might do is send you a link to you guys uh, so you can actually have a look at uh, importing some items yourselves. Uh, but for instance, in our Others tab, um, we've either got our Cloud Library or User Library. So in the Cloud Library, there is actually a wash, wash basin that you can grab. It's just a standard uh, circle one there. So say I want to grab this one, it's set to location, free orientation, so it will just place it on the surface. So we can just place it on the surface there. And again, hit your space bar to rotate the item into the correct orientation. So then we can align it to the unit. Um, so I'll just copy that one there, place that one beside. And here uh, we can do a position query to give a measurement there. In, from the back of the wall uh, and basically put it put it at their uh, sorry position query um, so maybe I want 100 mil from the wall press enter same with that one there 100 mil from the wall and then the other thing is the align function so that will allow us to place it directly in the center of this unit for instance so I want to position that in a left right orientation and I want to move it to the middle of the left right same again with this one right click the line line on the unit middle of left right there click OK and that will place it in the center again the other items as well um, back in our others tab in our user library now I've got these uh, wall taps here so these are set to by default on, on floor um, again you just need to change these to the free orientation and I've got it set so these ones here the ones we're using I've got it set like that so the bottom is always going to um, sit on the surface that you place it on. So I've orientated these in such a way that when I use the uh, free orientation and fix that one, it will set it on the wall. So for instance, you know, if you have it set like that, it'll set that way. So again, just hit space bar to rotate those around, place it in the correct location, copy that one there, place that one. Then I can align that, say I want to go front to front. And that will move these around again or you can do a position query again so for instance you want to have those sitting above the bowl a certain number um, I might want to say you know 70 mil something like that again position query to the bowl 70 mil press enter okay um, now that that's all done what I'll do is I'll just grab a mirror and then we'll uh, we'll finish it off so on the products list again what I'm going to do is find in my kitchen now, I'm just going to find an end panel. So in this end panel here, this panel here is just for a free orientation. So I can basically specify and then change it to whatever I want. So uh, again, set your values here for your width, depth and height. So uh, depth in this case is actually going to be the uh, up down or the height on the wall. And then the height here is actually going to be the thickness of it. So I might just make that 10 mil for instance. And my depth here, I might make that uh, something like a meter. And my width here, I might make that 1400. So we span across that one. Click fix and place it on the wall. So now that that's there, again, I want to use my line function to get that center. Um, I want to align it in a left right orientation so our left side's lined up together. But at this time, uh, what we want to do is actually have the center of this one line up to the right side there. So middle of left right, and I want that lining up to the right side of this one. So this middle of left right is going to this right side here. Click OK. That will center that one there. So if we move that around, that one's now centered. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the properties of this one here. So we go Edit, Material Editor. Click on that one there. First thing I'm going to do is delete the color map. So we just click X on that and delete it. Then I'm going to take all of the color out of that one there, make it just a gray. Uh, and then the other thing I'm going to do is go type and then change it to a mirror. So I can say white mirror there. It's going to change the reflection properties and essentially make that a mirror. So there we have it. So there's a basic uh, vanity creation process. Uh, thanks everybody for joining us and we'll see you all in the next one.